Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our mini-series on reflection is grace and mercy do not negate work. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. For a few days I've been sharing reflections from my spiritual journey in 2023. I encourage you to do the same. What have you learned in 2023 in a new way? Have you experienced growth or was this an unproductive year for you spiritually? Whatever the case, use your reflection as a fulcrum to plan for 2024. Today, I want to speak about grace, mercy and work. I remember some time a couple of years ago, I was experiencing continuous spiritual attacks. It was really unusual. After a while of experiencing these things, I went to God in prayer to inquire what was going on. I prayed for a few days and then I received the word that said, your level of prayer is insufficient for the terrain you are standing on. Wow. So I trusted God for grace to increase my prayer fire. I shared my encounter with a dear friend of mine who wanted to understand the place of the mercy of God in the situation I narrated. Should the mercy of God not be able to kick in and stop the attacks from happening? I was glad she shared her thoughts with me. I also pondered on this issue for a while and at the time I really didn't have any answer. All I knew was that I had received the word. Anyway, I increased my prayer fire and guess what? The attack ceased just as the Lord had said. As I look back in reflection, I now know that grace and mercy are there to equip us to put in the work we need to put in. You see, Jesus, the one whom the Bible refers to as being full of grace and truth, the one who is mercy personified, still needed to pray. At some times, he prayed longer than at others. In our anchor scripture, for instance, the Bible says he stayed all night in prayer. God is a God of grace and mercy, but we too must put in the work required for the level we are. There is a work that God will do. There is a work that you must do. Prayer, fasting, studying the word are three out of a number of things that we cannot outsource. If you will function adequately and safely in your sphere of destiny, there is work that you must do. Have you heard of people who say there is no need to fast because Jesus already fasted for them or that there is no need to pray too much because God already knows everything? Please do not take that stance. There is work you must do. A man of God once said, for instance, that there is no amount of fasting and praying that will turn your seed to a harvest if you do not plant it. No amount of grace or mercy will cause you to enjoy a harvest that you did not plant. What grace will enable you to do is to plant even when the odds are against you. I have learned in this year that I cannot afford to neglect my prayer altar, my word study altar, and my fellowship with the Holy Spirit. My life literally depends on these as yours should. What have you learned? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for bringing us to the last month of this year. We are so, so, so grateful. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.